friends. Uh, this video is a shout out to my poor third grade friends who didn't get to start recorder, which is a really big thing that we would have been doing here in the spring at Woodbridge, getting ready for a recorder recital and learning how to play songs and everything. And we learned how to read the notes of the five line staff. And then we all had to come home. So what about your recorder that you ordered if you ordered one? Um, we can communicate about that through Schoology. It'll all depend on if we get back to school. But in the meantime, um, I decided that we could still, and I told you this before we left, we can still learn the basics of how to hold and use our hands with the recorder using simple household items. I was just being silly and walking around my house and looking for anything that was shaped like a long tube um, or just anything that you could get your hands around. So things I found in my house for fun, this cooking spoon. So if you take something that's long enough to stick it on your chin. Now in the video, you got to remember which hand is your left hand. You got to do your L. Your L is your left and that goes on top. So you look at your own hands. Where's your L just in case you didn't know? You should find that this is your left. Okay, so if I put my left hand on top of the recorder, I'm going to grab the top like that with my left hand. The other hand goes on bottom. You could place it on the chin. If you are in, well, which class already did this with me? I want to say Miss Porson's class, I think, uh, already did this with me. And you put your thumb on the back and then you line them up with the pointer, middle, and ring, you don't use the pinky. And then you put your other fingers below. And we decide later which ones we need. But just to get a grip on it, just what could you use as a recorder? Let's try it with a spoon. I'm sure somebody could find a spoon at home. I found a cardboard paper towel tube in my recycle bin. Stick it on the chin. Left hand on top. Thumb. Pointer middle ring. And below, you can see, let me just scoot that down a bit. My other fingers could go down there. This is just to get a feel for what it'll be like. We can always blow into the recorder at another time, but we got to train our fingers what to do. So cardboard, paper tube. How about a pencil? Stick it on the chin, left hand on top, pointer, middle ring, and the other hand below. Never put the pinky on top and don't need it. Uh, so B A G. That's what hot cross bun sounds like. You could try with a marker. Now this is a little getting your hands up tight, but if you really are that desperate that you want to give it a try, you can put your left hand on top and just do the top three fingers on a marker. How about I found this small hockey stick in our sports bin. I'm going to put that on top. Hey, look, my daughter just joined in the back with her recorder. Hey, Ella, come over here and show everybody all your recorder karate belts. Okay, so we were going to do recorder karate and we were going to learn how to play songs. By the way, there's a whole bunch of tutorials in your school G about how to play all the notes and each note and arrangement leads up to a belt. It's a whole topic for another day. I'm just talking about what if you don't have a recorder? So put the hockey stick on my chin, left hand on top, thumb on the back, pointer, middle ring, and then down here. The longer it is, the better because you really don't want your hands all the way up here. You're gonna want them more like about there. And now for the first time ever, Mrs. Saganik is going to temporarily endorse the temporary use of a not good recorder that you could get at the I can't believe I'm going to say it the dollar store this recorder that I bought for one dollar is not a good recorder but you know um it's better than nothing at this point we can always get you a better one later and it's it's better than a pencil because of the size guys let me finish my video so I'm going to take it out of the package Yes, at your local Dollar Tree. Because I, I wanted them to see what the package looked like. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. And it's really cheap plastic. Like, if I whack it on the table right now, it's probably going to shatter. Excuse me. I'm. Hi there. <clears throat> Had to use the quiet sign on my family there. Um, so, this is what a regular recorder would be shaped like. Ella, can I borrow your recorder, please? Trust the assistant. Okay. So as you can see, they are about the same size. Um, 
and I'm not exactly sure what it is about these cheaper recorders. The holes don't all completely line up, if you can see at the bottom, which then makes the recorder sound out of tune. Um, so that would be like singing a song that sounds really, really bad. So hot cross buns, if I sang it, should sound like, hold on. Hot cross buns. When I play it on this thing, it sounds a little funky. It's like hot crossed buns. Doesn't quite sound right, but we can still get the feel for covering the holes completely, the right hand on top. So it doesn't sound great. One moment, please. So we'll work on the mechanics of what it feels like to hold the recorder properly, use the hands properly. But I just wanted you to know that since we can't get a recorder to you right now, perhaps you'd like to give it a try with a fake recorder. So as you can see, a pencil is much smaller. If, it, if you are playing something comfortably, this is about how far your hands would be up on your chin. As you can see on the pencil, that really barely gives me enough room for just my left hand. So I uh, just wanted you guys to get a chance to think about that. Like I said, there's tutorials in your Schoology accounts for every song, all the notes, what they sound like, how to use the hands. And I'm going to invite my daughter back over to do a little demonstration on her recorder. Ella, can you come over here and let's do a little side by side. I'm going to play Hot Cross Buns first, just the opening part, and then she's going to play it. And you're going to hear quite a difference. Hers is going to sound way better than mine. All right, here I go. Ella, your turn. Let's play side by side and see what happens. Ready, go. So as you can hear, they don't they don't sound really anything alike. So um, that's all I wanted to say. I just want to give you guys a chance to go on maybe a little scavenger hunt and see what you can find. Um, if I get a chance, I might try to put a voice thread in the school G where you would be able to record yourselves and upload videos so that I can see what you're trying at home. Maybe you have a recorder. You can message me and let me know what kind you have um, or what you were trying to do with one of your improvised recorders. That's all I have to say about that. Good luck, guys. Feel free to message and like the video below. Thanks, guys. Bye.